Today we are going to go over using the upload file feature in eCertify to create mail pieces and how to prepare your document to use this feature. To preface this video, it is vital that you upload your files containing your piece data in a CSV or TSV file format, which stands for comma separated values or tab separated values. If you are already familiar with these file formats and how to save your file in these formats, then look in the description below for a timestamp that skips how to prepare your document and goes right to the upload your file portion of this video. In order to prepare your document, open your spreadsheet of choice. This might be Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets, or something else. For me, it's going to be Microsoft Excel. And this is where we're going to create our list of pieces that we wish to upload. First, ensure that you have the correct column names in row 1, address 1 through address 8, weight, postage, and custom 1 through custom 10, and RETREFNUM, which stands for Return Reference Number. Make sure address 1 through address 8 is ADDR1, ADDR2, etc., and not address spelled out in full. Then it's time to enter our address data. Correctly entered address data might look something like this, with name 1 and address 1, and then street 1 and address 2, city, state, zip, and then we have a few extra address columns. These are for if there is more address information you want to add. For example, I might have street 1 and address 2, but then apartment numbers and address 3, in which case I would put city and address 4, state and 5, and zip code and address 6. If you don't have any additional data you wish to add, it is okay to leave these columns blank. However, weight and postage must be filled in with a value. Custom 1 through Custom 10 and Return Reference Number are all optional fields. When you're finished, save your file in a CSV format. If it does not automatically pop up as CSV, then go to Save as Type and look for the CSV option. Make sure to save your file in a location that you'll be able to easily remember and access later. Now you are ready to upload your document to eCertify. In order to upload your file, go to eCertify and go to My Mail Queue. As you can see, I have a shortcut to My Mail Queue on my home screen. You can also access it on the sidebar menu, or if you want to enable this shortcut, go to Favorites, Manage Favorites, go to Home Screen Shortcuts, select My Mail Queue, and Save. Now let's go to My Mail Queue, Upload File, and here we have the option of choosing a file from our computer or downloading a sample file. Our download options include a tab delimited sample file or a comma delimited sample file. The document we were just working on is actually the comma delimited sample file. This is where you're going to want to check if your address format is configured to your standards. For example, cm underscore ab is going to stand for address block, whereas cm underscore dad is going to stand for delivered as addressed. An address block is an address that will be formatted in accordance with USPS standards as outlined in the domestic mail manual, and this is the default. Delivered as addressed means the address will not be formatted or changed in any way from its original state. In order to configure your address format, go to Company, Settings, and then address format, select address block or delivered as addressed. Going back to upload file, select a file to upload from your computer, and then select the profile that you want associated with those pieces in your document. Click upload file, and review the upload report really quick. We have four records loaded, four records processed, that's good, zero records ignored, that's perfect, 
and then we're just going to click done uploading. Now we can view our pieces in the My Mail Queue page. We can view and download banner pages. We can submit these pieces to the USPS. And we can even edit the piece details. Note that your most recently uploaded and created pieces are going to be at the bottom of the page. And that is the upload your file workflow and how to prepare your document for it. We hope that this empowers you to complete your daily tasks as efficiently as possible.